virus is a biological agent that reproduces inside the cells of living hosts. When infected by a virus, a host cell is forced to produce thousands of identical copies of the original virus at an extraordinary and alarming rate. The major issue with the virus is in its ability to attach to other hosts and to replicate. That's what causes an epidemic that can grow into a pandemic event. The former being smaller and more local, the latter being much more global with how it spreads. The truth is, there may be thousands of unknown, undiscovered viruses that can be carried via humans, animals, and even plants. The term virus, however, is an umbrella term as there are many virus classifications in which similar characteristics are used to determine the type of virus that we're dealing with. The coronavirus is not a new virus. Discovered in the 1960s, it is a subcategory virus that has created many well-known widespread problems in the past. You see, coronaviruses are a group of viruses that cause disease in mammals and birds. In humans, the viruses cause respiratory infections, which are typically mild, including the common cold, for example, but rarer forms like SARS from 2002 and MERS from 2012 can be lethal. And how it affects each species can vary greatly. For example, SARS and MERS in cows and pigs may cause simply diarrhea while in chickens, they can cause an upper respiratory disease. There are no vaccines or antiviral drugs that are approved for prevention or treatment. That is why, to this day, there isn't a cure for something like the common cold. That's what makes the coronaviruses so scary. If they are of the lethal kind and the outbreak isn't controlled, we can quickly enter a state of emergency in a very short period of time. And as of the recording of this video, January 30th, the World Health Organization has declared that the new coronavirus, named the novel coronavirus or informally the Wuhan coronavirus outbreak is indeed a global health emergency. I'm declaring a public health emergency of international concern our greatest concern is the potential for the virus to spread to countries with weaker health systems. This serves as a notice to all United Nations member states, since the world's top health advisors have deemed this situation as a serious one. Now, what do we know about coronaviruses and how does it affect the human body? Well, these viruses can be transmitted from human to human via the eye, the nose, and the mouth. If one is infected and either coughs or sneezes or simply transfers saliva, they can indeed infect another person as the biological fluid can carry the virus. Following the entry of this virus into the cell, the virus particle is uncoated and the RNA genome is deposited into the cytoplasm. The coronavirus RNA genome has a methylated cap and a polyandinylated tail. This allows the RNA to attach to the ribosome for translation. Coronaviruses also have a protein known as replicase, encoded in its genome which allows the RNA viral genome to be transcribed into new RNA copies using the host cell's own machinery. So, essentially, the virus attaches to other cells, uses the cell's ability to transport within the body and duplicate to subsequently create more copies of itself. This new coronavirus, the novel coronavirus, has never been encountered before. So how did it start to spread? It is believed that it was transmitted via an animal as the center of the outbreak was in Wuhan, China, and many of the infected either worked or shopped at the Huangnan Seafood Wholesale Market in the center of the Chinese city. They sold live and even recently slaughtered animals which could have caused the initial transmission. 
antivirus drugs like the flu shot unfortunately will not work. At this time, the only thing that can be done if one is infected is that the person is isolated and hospitalized, but recovery depends on the strength of the immune system. Those who tend to die are those who are already in poor health. As of the recording of this video, there have been 10,000 recorded infections and 213 deaths. All deaths have been recorded in China alone. However, just within the past week, the cases of infected people have tripled. There have even been confirmations of infected outside of China in Macau, Hong Kong, Japan, Nepal, Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, Vietnam, and even the United States. Due to it being widespread and how so many people can react differently to the virus, as well as showing mild symptoms, the World Health Organization has suggested that there could be as many as 100,000 cases regarding the novel coronavirus. The first person-to-person -person transmission in the United States was from a 60-year-old woman in Chicago who recently traveled to China and passed it on to her husband who did not travel with her. However, it appears that outside of China, there have only been about 98 cases, which means that there is a great possibility to contain this disease if the appropriate steps are taken whenever a person is confirmed to have it. Due to the many medical advances and experiences with previous outbreaks, we are better equipped to deal with something like the novel coronavirus. So what can you do to protect yourself and others from being infected? Of course, wash your hands and or disinfect regularly as we use our hands to touch everything and can accidentally pick up or grab the virus. Avoid constantly touching your face as the virus can only be transmitted via the eyes, mouth, and nose. It is wise to try not to touch your face so actively to reduce the chances of being infected. Make sure to cover your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing. These small gestures can go a long way in helping prevent the spread of a new virus. I know this topic may seem a bit off topic for this channel, but because of the mass hysteria and the connection to health and safety, I felt it would be appropriate to discuss the novel virus outbreak as to help you better understand what has happened, what is happening, and what you can expect. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, as always, I want to thank my patrons for my Patreon, and I'm going to go ahead and put their names right up here. And as always, guys, I'll see you on Wednesday for another FAQ. Peace.